All please be seated. You can just suffer just a little bit. Yes, 
Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Tom Maloney, and I would like to welcome all of you here this afternoon. On behalf of Lindsay and on behalf of Patrick, to witness their marriage and to celebrate with them. We're here today to celebrate the love that Patrick and Lindsay have for each other and to recognize and witness your decision to journey forward in your lives as husband and wife. A wedding is a wonderful occasion. You're filled with hopes, dreams and excitement and I know that the joy and the happiness that you feel today is increased by the love and support shown by the presence of your family and friends here today. So welcome everybody. Can we give a huge welcome to Lindsay and Patrick. It's time to relax, it's time to enjoy. There's nothing we can do about the weather, but there's lots of sunshine coming up after, after today. Wonderful atmosphere in the room. I can feel a great sense of joy and happiness and wanting to be here. And I think there's a great night ahead of everybody. I hope I don't forget to look up to the balcony. I've never been involved with a wedding with a balcony, so we're not, it's wonderful to see ev everybody up there. I'd like to welcome our bridal party uh, the groomsmen, Wesley and Dave, Douglas and Adrian, and our maid of honor, Laura. Uh, great to see you all and thank you for all that you're doing. Obviously, Patrick needed a little more support with uh, four <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> and Lindsay was fine with Laura. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, there are a lot of things that we can't plan in life, and I want to uh, commend, I think it would be mainly Patrick, for picking this day for the wedding. Because as everybody knows, the Stanley Cup finals are on at the moment. <laughs> How Patrick knew that the Leafs would not be in the playoffs today, I, I commend you for that uh, inside knowledge. Uh, thank you to Robbie, our piper, and uh, Diana, and Peter for beautiful music for uh, Lindsay's entrance. Uh, to parents, it's a really, it's a happy day. It's a, it's a wonderful day. Uh, Lindsay's mom and dad, Don and Steve, and Patrick's Linda and Norman. Congratulations to, to the four of you. Uh, our Piper Robbie was wearing a crest today and it was for the Toronto Fire Department and that was to recognize and to respect Steve for all of his work over the years. I also want to welcome Grandpa George Webb. George, wonderful to see you here and, and looking, looking so well. We have one family member, regrettably, who could not make it, who really wanted to be here, uh, promised to be well behaved at the reception and so on, but couldn't. Uh, that would be Callie, the pet puggle, who is somewhere <laughs> at home. I'm sure knows what's going on. <laughs> And uh, finally, welcome to all the travellers from, from near and far who are here today. I asked Lindsay and Patrick to tell me what today means for them. And Lindsay, if you don't mind, I'll use Patrick's words at this moment. Of course. Patrick said, <laughs> Today is about two lives joining as one. Two families merging as one. It is a new chapter in life not just for Lindsay and I, but also for our families and our friends. Today has to be the most exciting day in my life so far. <laughs> there was a time when I thought that I would never get married. When I met Lindsay, that all changed. I knew right then that we would end up together, and I'm pretty sure that Lindsay knew that as well. <laughs> I think they're powerful, powerful words. Now, after listening to Patrick's words, you would immediately think that it was love at first sight. <laughs> well, it, well, you would be correct, but there's a slight twist to their story. I'm sure many of you know, know the story much better than I do. Actually, the first meeting was at Weston Memorial Elementary School the school just across the road 
from Lindsay's house. I wasn't there, but I'm sure Patrick was very reluctant to start a romance. You see, <laughs> he was in grade five, Lindsay was in grade four, and I would say at that time he had hockey on his mind and not girls. Correct. But if we fast forward to 2007, after reconnecting on Facebook, Lindsay came home from Los Angeles for a week's holidays. The week's holidays turned into five weeks holidays. Then she went back to Los Angeles a few days later. I don't know if it was a knock on the door or whatever it was, Patrick arrived. And Patrick had a very strong message for Lindsay. <laughs> Patrick said, I'm either staying in Los Angeles or you're coming home with me to Toronto. And the rest is history. I think that's a powerful story. There's a very famous Scottish poem by a poet named Robbie Burns. And I think the words in that poem would reflect the feelings that Patrick had when on Venice Beach he proposed to Lindsay. The poem is called, My Love is Like a Red, Red Rose. I'm not going to sing it, Lindsay, don't worry. Yeah. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my love is like a red, red rose that's <clears throat> newly sprung in June. My love is like a melody that's sweetly played in tune. As fair thou art, my bonnie lass, so deep in love am I, and I will always love you, dear, till all the seas gang dry. Till all the seas gang dry, my dear, till all the seas gang dry, and I will always love you still, my dear, till all the seas gang dry. We'll begin the sermon. Would you like to pass? To At this time, I would like to call on Amber, Lindsay's okay. cousin, who will read an excerpt from a reading chosen by Lindsay and Patrick. The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. When he looked into her eyes, he learned the most important of the language that all the world spoke, the language that everyone on earth was capable of understanding in their heart. It was love. Something older than humanity, more ancient than the desert. What the boy felt at that moment was that he, in the presence of the only woman in his life, and that with no need for words, she recognized the same thing. Because when you know the language, it's easy to understand that someone in the world awaits you, whether it's in the middle of the desert or in some great city. And when two such people encounter each other, the past and the future become unimportant. There is only that moment and the incredible certainty that everything under the sun has been written by one hand only. It is a hand that evokes love and creates a twin soul for every person in the world. Without such love, one's dreams would have no meaning. Thank you, Amber. Patrick and Lindsay, you are here today with your family and friends to declare publicly your love for each other and to be joined in marriage. This is much more than a social and civil occasion. It is the declaration of your hearts and your dreams built upon your faith and love experience and enriched now by a solemn declaration of love. With your love, you will speak to each other with patience. Always look for ways to be constructive you see, love respects us all as individuals. There's no limit to its endurance. There's no end to its trust. A true and profound love can outlast everything. This love can remain forever when all else has failed. Lindsay, Patrick, our wish for you is that the love for each other that you feel and believe in so strongly today will continue to grow stronger in the wonderful life that lies ahead of you. And now I would like to invite Cindy uh, to also come forward for a reading. Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. 
It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Thank you, Cindy. I'm now going to give Lindsay and Patrick some advice, but I have to listen to those words and perhaps we all have to listen to words if we are caring or looking after another person. Patrick and Lindsay, the harmony of married life will be yours if you listen to each other and speak to each other honestly. If you are to reap the fruits of a relationship built on love, we must continuously sow seeds of kindness, compassion, respect, and trust. So treated, the love you feel and declare today will continue to grow stronger in the years to come. Because a good marriage has to be created. In the art of marriage, little things are big things. It's never being too old to do what you're doing now, holding hands, never going to sleep angry, and remembering to show your love for each other in different ways every day. Try to have a mutual faith, sense of values. Stand together like you're doing now, facing the world. Try to form a circle of love, just as we've got here, that will bring in family and friends. And always try to say words of appreciation and demonstrate gratitude in thoughtful ways. Finally, we all need the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is in giving space to the other that each of us can grow and finding room for our spirit. Because today is not just about marrying the right partner. And you know, Lindsay, and you know, Patrick, you are. But we all also have to be the right partner. And family and friends, you're all here to witness you're all here to celebrate. Could you please show your approvals for this wedding to take place with your uh, applause or whatever? Yeah. 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 That's loud. That was even louder than the bagpipes. Thank you. I'm now going to ask Patrick and Lindsay their intent to marry. It's getting real. Are you ready, Patrick? <laughs> Patrick, do you take Lindsay to be your wife? Do you promise to love and respect her always? Do you promise to stand by her through whatever may come? Do you promise to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Lindsay, do you take Patrick to be your husband? Do you promise to love and respect him always? Do you promise to stand by him through whatever may come? Do you promise to be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Lindsay and Patrick, nothing is easier than saying words, and at times nothing is harder than living them day by day. A wedding is a precious day, a wonderful day, a marriage is a lifetime, a precious lifetime. Whatever you promise today should be renewed tomorrow and every day that lies ahead of you. At the end of our ceremony, you will be legally husband and wife, but each day, <laughs> we all have to decide that we wish to remain married. I was going to ask you to hold right hands, but you're doing that already. That's wonderful. We're going to share vows. Patrick, if you can repeat after me. Yes, sir. Lindsay. Lindsay. I choose you to be my wife. I choose you to be my wife. All that I have, I offer you. All that I have, I offer you. What you have to give, I gladly receive. What you have to give, I gladly receive. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you go, I will go. You are my love. You are my love. I promise to be faithful. I promise to be faithful. To you alone. To you alone. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. 
Patrick. Patrick. I choose you to be my husband. I choose you to be my husband. All that I have, I offer you. All that I have, I offer you. What you have to give, I gladly receive. What you have to give, I gladly receive. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you go, I will go. You are my love. You are my love. I promise to be faithful. I promise to be faithful. To you alone. To you alone. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. We can have a round of applause. For <laughs> I was saying to Lindsay and Patrick, I was thinking of Los Angeles when they said, wherever you go, I will, I will go. We'll now share the, uh, the rings, Wesley, and we would ask that the rings given and received be a symbol of the joy and hope, the promise and commitment that Lindsay and Patrick have made today. Get it. No, I do not use scissors. <laughs> if you would extend your left. Yes. Lindsay. Lindsay. On this day, I give you this ring. On this day, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. My promise is. My promise is. That I will walk with you. That I will walk with you. Hand in hand. Hand in hand. Wherever our journey leads. Wherever our journey leads. Living and learning. Living and learning. Laughing and loving. Laughing and loving. Together always. Together always. I need your help here. Yeah. Oh, wait, one smaller. It's not my fault, there's three. <laughs> <laughs> there's three to put on, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Wowzer. Yes, of course. Thank you. We don't need scissors. Patrick. Patrick. On this day, I give you this ring. On this day, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. My promise is. My promise is. That I will walk with you. That I will walk with you. Hand in hand. Hand in hand. Wherever our journey leads. Wherever our journey leads. Living and learning. Living and learning. Laughing and loving. Laughing and loving. Together always. Together always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, perfect fits. Have an applause, please. <laughs> Lindsay and Patrick, the hand that you offer to each other is an extension of yours, just as is the warmth and love which you express to each other. Cherish the touch, for you are touching another life. Be sensitive to the pulse and try to understand and respect its rhythm and flow just as you do your own. Because now you will feel no rain because each of you are a shelter to the other. You will feel no cold because you are warmth to each other. Now you will feel no loneliness because you are both companions to each other you are two bodies, but there is one life ahead of you. Go now and enter the days of your life together and may those days be good and long upon this earth. Patrick and Lindsay, we have heard you promise to share your lives in marriage. We respect and recognize the promise that you have made. And so in the honesty and the sincerity of what you have said and done, before your families and before your friends, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Go forth, meet life gladly, and life will surely love you in return.
Patrick, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry to go to the signing table. We'll be right back. Okay. Can I help you with that? Thank you. I'll come that way. Okay. Ah, it's so exciting. Go ahead, lovey. Should we, should we, can we see, can we just give a quick kiss to mom and dad or after? Oh. After, after. After? Okay. After, yes. That's okay, I'm really behind you, love. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much. Thank you. I know I do. That's all you gotta do. Just pass the pen to your husband. That would be the sign of your face. It's gonna be an ugly signature. Look at George. That's funny. <laughs> that was awesome. Love you. Amazing. Amazing. Good job. Sick of that church. What? Who's that? Fell off the floor. No idea. I'll find out. Okay. Okay. Up on this. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Ceremony uh, called hand fasting. It's in an act of something 
but was first introduced in Scotland, I believe, before 1000 AD, so just slightly before I was born. <laughs> and some say that at that time the act of hand fasting was also a marriage unto itself. I'm not sure if the phrase tying the knot comes from that, but it surely uh, is connected. Patrick and Lindsay, while you will always continue to celebrate your individuality, as of today, you are two individuals, but you are also one unit, and you are partners for life. Sorry if it's too tight. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. I don't want to spray with it this morning. There you are. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Just uh, a few words before we uh, before we leave. I apologize for the delay while we we're, were signing. Um, I think all of you who know Lindsay know that she is somebody who looks forward to the future. And on Lindsay's side of the family, it's, there's the Irish heritage. On Patrick's side of the family, there's the Scottish heritage. And maybe one day in the future, Ireland will play Scotland in the World Cup of Soccer. <laughs> Same chance as the Leafs winning the Stanley Cup, but maybe, maybe they will. So we had to sign a little something there where Patrick agreed, uh, if there are other McDougals in the family, that they will all cheer for Ireland while he cheers for Scotland. So we had to be ready. Uh, moms and dads, congratulations. Uh, bridal party, thank you again for, for everything. And Amber, Cindy, uh, Robbie, Diane, and Peter, thank, thank you very much. I want to wish you a great evening. I think there's going to be lots of laughter. I think there's going to be lots of music and lots of celebration. I just want to say a short Irish blessing. Patrick Lindsay. May love and peace surround you. Contentment latch your door. And happiness that's in you now will bless you forevermore. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored, I'm delighted to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Patrick and Lindsay McEwen.